All right, well, I have to tell you, I learned something, it was several months ago, I met this pediatrician, and you know how Oprah always talks about those light bulb moments? Mm -hmm. Like uh -huh. that was, that, that yeah, it was aha moment, yeah. yeah, and that's what this was for me, and I wanted to share it with you. It's this scientific connection between certain stressors as a child and health problems later in life. The CDC discovered this link many years ago, yet doctors still aren't screening for it. And that's why one pediatrician is on a mission to make us aware of what is now known as toxic stress and also what we can do about it. Adverse childhood experiences are the single greatest unaddressed public health threat facing our nation today. I am on a mission to change the way our society responds to childhood adversity as a health threat. your health outcomes. For a person with an ACE score or four or more, their relative risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease was two and a half times that of someone with an ACE score of zero. For hepatitis, it was also two and a half times. For depression, it was four and a half times. What's at stake if we don't address this? So what's at stake? Uh, our health? Uh, uh, that $3 trillion that we spend per year on health care, 18% of our GDP, 75% is for treatment of chronic disease. We can either do prevention or we can continue to be paying for it downstream. In layman's terms, can you just explain what happens in a child's body when they do experience one of these adverse life events and how is that connected to a health problem later? It all has to do with our, um, our body's stress response, our fight or flight response. It is uh, a healthy part of uh, all of our bodies and it's what saves our lives when we're faced with a mortal threat. The problem is when that stress response is activated too often, it can lose its ability to shut itself off normally. And it goes from being life-saving to health damaging. So what are the life stressors that we're talking about? Well, first, any kind of abuse, physical, emotional, or sexual. Then neglect, physical and emotional. Also, any household dysfunction, like parental mental illness, if you have an incarcerated relative or a mother who is treated violently, household substance abuse, and even not being raised by both biological parents. Again, the more a child has of these, the higher likelihood of toxic stress and ultimately health problems. But fortunately, there are some things we can do now to reverse the damage and heal. And that story is right after this break.